Hello, hello. Thank you for stopping by my channel today. So today I am doing a after Halloween special. Um, this video is going to show you all of the costumes that I wore for the Halloween 2022 season. And um, I actually wore more this year than last year. I did 21 this year. So <laughs> um, some of these I got ideas off of the internet. Others I just reused costumes from the last year because I just really thought they were awesome. And then I came up with a few new ones this year. So let's get right into this, shall we? Welcome to Cat's Crazy Corner. So again, today I am doing an after Halloween special. I am showing you all of the costumes that I wore for the 2022 Halloween season. Um, I work at a place where I'm able to wear a different costume every day that I work, and I choose to do that. And this year I worked 21 shifts, so I wore 21 costumes. So let's get started with this. So the first costume I did, this one was a repeat from last year. Um, I did the tattooed lady again. Um, I just wanted to wear it one more time um, and then I actually uh, donated it so that maybe somebody else could enjoy it as much as I did for the last two years. Then we have um, second costume is a tourist and that one I did with a couple of my coworkers as you can see. That one was pretty fun um, having a nice little group of us doing it together. Um, then we have, this one was a new one, this is Brian from Family Guy. Uh, I really thought this one was really cute, and um, I'm keeping that one to use. Or did I donate that one? I don't remember. <laughs> Either way, it was a fun one to do. Um, and um, you can watch. I did do little snippets um, on TikTok um, for each and every one of these outfits to different songs and things like that. So some of these pictures don't won't do it justice. Go check out my my TikTok um, cat, at Cat's Crazy Corner, just like my YouTube channel. Um, anyway, let's move on. So then number four we have is a Dalmatian and my other coworker, she did it with me. We had a lot of fun with this. Um, as you can see, we sniffed each other's butts like dogs would. <laughs> and then throughout the day, we were jokingly lifting our legs and pretending like we were peeing on things to market as our own territory. So it was a good time with that costume. Um, and that one I retired because that one I did do last year as well. So that one won't be coming up again. And then number five is the No Problema, which of course I have to do llama every year because I love llamas. And that one I'm keeping because I can utilize that on a cold day when I just want to be comfortable in my room. So I'm keeping that one. So then we have that girl. I did do that one last year as well, um, but I retired that one as well. Got rid of that one. So we'll have some fresh ideas next year. And then number seven was, um, there was four of us that did it, um, were the Pumpkin Spice Girls. So, <laughs> clever, yes. Um, I just got white labels and wrote down all kinds of different spices and then we put them all over a pumpkin shirt and hence Pumpkin Spice Girls. Very punny. <laughs> it was fun though. We got a lot of fun compliments on that one. Next we have, we did Poo Day. Um, I was Winnie the Pooh and you see we had two Eeyores, a Piglet and Tigger. Um, and that was a lot of fun to have that big of a group of us all dressed up as well, um, doing Halloween fun things. Um, then we have um, Newsflash. This one I absolutely love. I'm keeping this one. I will probably keep doing this one until I just get tired of it, but this one is just a fun one as you can see. Um, simple to do and it's just very comical. So that one I'm probably gonna keep doing um, again. Um, then I decided to do a pink lady this year. Um, the pants weren't quite what I wanted because the original pair, they had a split in them, so I couldn't wear them. So next year, I'll probably figure out um, some way to do it a little bit different than what I did this last year. But that was a lot of fun, too, and having a coworker dress the same as well. Next is my uh, costume 11, which I was a sugar mama, and I did that one last year as well. Um, again, just very punny, easy, homemade one. Um, empty sugar bag, draw face on it. I glued a little yarn to it. I ordered that cute little baby carrier it's a doll carrier actually from Amazon and very inexpensive but very fun to do. Um, that one I um, retired um, unfortunately because somebody decided to throw it away for me. Yeah, um, that's a whole different story which we won't get into that but I had fun wearing it again for the second year. So then uh, 12 is the Candy Corn Witch. I did that one last year as well. Um, that one I will probably retire just because um, the Candy Corn 
felt on the front of it was coming off and I had to do some finagling of it and stuff and I'll probably try a different witch next year anyway. Um, then number 13 was a, um, a group effort again with some co-workers and we did an 80s theme. Very bright colors. This was part of my costume. I thought why not wear it to uh, honor this one. Then number 14 was new for me and that one was a zombie. Um, I Luckily my roommate uh, gave me the dress because she was no longer able to utilize it. So I chose to do a zombie this year. I thought it looked pretty, pretty awesome in it. Um, number 15 is Devil's Advocate. <laughs> and that was a pretty easy one. I just took a black shirt, ironed the, the word advocate on, and then wore the devil ears, the, you know, the little necktie and the tail. That was quite a punny, fun one to, to do. Um, 16 was new. I did a sailor. I had never done, I've actually never done a sailor before in all of my years of doing costumes, which is kind of weird, but, so that's why I chose to do that one this year. And then number 17, I did that one. That one took, a, this one took a lot of work. Um, this is the gumball machine. Um, it was very time consuming, um, gluing all those pom-poms on and, you know, then doing the painting on my face and all that kind of stuff. But it was a lot of fun. I did get a lot of compliments. So that one I'll probably change it up or, you know, use it as a different costume for next year. Um, number 18, I utilized my devil stuff again by being a deviled egg. <laughs> Um, one of my coworkers, she helped me make the egg part for it, and I just got some Velcro stuff that I put on so I could easily remove it and use it again for next year if I want to, but that one was pretty fun and original. And then 19, I was a cat cat because my name is Cat, and I wore a cat outfit. So, <laughs> um, number 20 is my bumblebee. Um, I changed it up a little bit with just my makeup, how I did my makeup this year with that one, but I did wear that one last year. I do have that one um, tucked aside just in case I choose to do that one again next year. And then 21, of course, was Wonder Woman again because I like to end it with Wonder Woman. Um, did change it up a little bit this year. I had different boot covers. I also tried doing like the comic style makeup, which I thought turned out fairly well. So. Um, I thought it was a great year this year. Had a couple people that dressed up this year that didn't do it last year, so that was kind of exciting. And um, I hope you guys enjoyed my video. And thank you to all of you who have subscribed already. If you haven't, please make sure you hit that subscribe button, hit that like button to let me know that you appreciate what I'm doing. Leave me comments, tell me how I'm doing, give me suggestions on new topics. Please don't forget to share. Join Cat's Crazy Corner Party. And make sure to check me out on TikTok at Cat's Crazy Corner. Lots of fun, different crazy stuff on there as well. Thank you again. I hope you have a wonderful, wonderful day. And we'll see you on the next one. Bye-bye.